of the IRL guy. Whoa! <laughs> ah! Oh! Put it in the first 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, you're right. No! Ah! Oh, everybody. Ah! <laughs> this time on the IRL guys. We are building. Wait, wait, hold on. Where's. Brad, where's Justin right now? Uh, he's off. Uh, con uh... Jonathan, where's, Brad and Jet uh, where's Justin right now? <laughs> this is a no Justin episode. Well, this is the real X. Hey, hey, he's hey, not in hey. there. That's okay, Jonathan. We didn't need Justin anyway, right? Right. Okay. So first thing we had to do is thaw out the paint because we left it outside by accident and got a little frozen. But while that thaws out, we'll start moving some drywall sections into place to start building the office. You're good. You're good. You're good. I know. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Can I get that You're louder? Good. Can I get You're that good. louder? Yeah. Oh! No! It's Justin! What is Justin? That was too close! God! Just a little bit of a hiccup without Justin being here. I'm sure we'll be fine. But in the meantime, the paint thawed out, so now we're going to be painting all of the ceiling black. And just like that, we put up a couple more walls and finished up the rest of the office. Oh my god! Oh! Wah! We even finished up this little bit of hallway that goes next to the office. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hey, man. What a true professional show you how it's done. Man. <laughs> Whoa! After that horrific tragedy, we finished up painting the rest of the ceiling, and Brendan got some nice strong arms from after painting. Oh. Bam! What? But wait. Uh oh. There's a problem. There's supposed to be a hole in there. Where's the vent? Where's Justin? Where's Justin? Justin! We don't know how to make the vent without Justin. No, shh, we do. How? How are we gonna make the family? There's a wall there already. I need you to call Mr. Beast <laughs> to find Justin. Please, it's up to you. Join our Patreon. <laughs> Pay us money. <laughs> Check out the link in the description. Extreme. Oh, that's true. Extreme. I don't. I promise. No. No. I don't here. want to. You think you're here? here. Oh! Look, guys, I think we're gonna have to end the video right there. We just, we're not very good at doing this without Justin. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Justin. Oh, hi, Justin. Um, we were doing great without you, by the way. Oh. We know um, what we're doing also as well. Great. But uh, but you can take over, though. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> me, me. We are building Five Nights at Freddy's 3 in real life part two. This is the second part, guys. As you can see from earlier on the video that completed most of the office, we just finished the vent, and now it's time for a little walkthrough. That's where the office is gonna be. Here's down the hallway. Here's this room. Oh, there's a watch ad! <laughs> and then we have this room over here. It's very echoey. And we got this room over here. And then, you know, you come over oh, here. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> and then we got, we got once we were done with the walkthrough, it was time to start on the roof for the office. Now that was a pretty easy process, and yes, we we're going to be taping that to fill any like gaps that we have, and also be painting that black, and then we'll actually have that red light hanging down from the ceiling to create that ventilation air effect. So it should look very, very cool. Okay, guys, this is... And that's what we're gonna do for FNAF 10. Obviously, we can't tell you our real ideas for the future, so you're just gonna have to subscribe and find out. Also, we went to Lowe's and picked up the DLC for the toolbox and got more plywood, and then we brought it back. Derek, what is this? This is the DLC to the toolbox. Ooh, that's nice. Look, you can plug in all of, um, Freddy here. We can charge him. <laughs>
once we were done charging Freddy, we just had to add some more lights into the office so then we could actually see what was going on, and this was a great investment. Mark's Meals on Wheels. Our next step was to actually tape the entire office and put in a desk. But before we could do that, we had to finish putting in the roof for this part of the hallway. Obviously, we still need to add the exit and that wall right next to it, but for the time being, this is what the exit looks like, and it looks amazing. Then we just put on the rest of the drywall that we hadn't put on in front of the office and it looked terrific. And while we were also filling in other pieces of drywall everywhere, we continued to do that around the set where we haven't put drywall before, as well as taping everything so then Derek could get a head start on painting. So this is what it looks like with all the tape installed as well as that part of the roof was installed and Derek's right there painting and doing a great job. Derek was on paint duty during this entire process, and since it was very cold outside, we could only do painting during the day, so it kind of set us back at some points. Whoa. Dude, what are you doing? Focusing. <laughs> then we added this last piece of drywall to complete the office, and then we just had to clear some area so that we could start to put in the desk. Now we are referencing the desk from FNAF 3 VR as it is easier to use all of the accessories because in the actual Five Nights at Freddy's 3 game it gets pretty difficult because they're, you know, to your immediate right and left, so it was just easier to put them on the desk. After we got the desk installed it looked great, and then it was finally time to start taping the rest of the area and painting more. So Derek continued to paint, I continued to tape, and it was a really really good process and we got a lot done in this time. You want some of this, Justin? Oh. No, but like it's good though. It's fresh. <laughs> I just got it. Oh. While Derek continued to paint the middle of the set, I continued to tape the office and all of the areas surrounding the office. So it was basically ready for paint. And then once Derek was done with that area, he also started to do more painting inside of this room and I did more taping. It was just a nice little symbiotic relationship. Obviously, during this time, we were working in basically 30 degree temperatures, so we could only paint at maybe three to four hours at a time. So that's all we can do during the time being. Now it's time to talk about something pretty exciting. Yes, the costume update. Now, we actually got a cosplayer. You may or may not know this fine gentleman, but he is going to be making all of our phantom animatronic heads. This is huge. So he already has progress updates for a few of the animatronic heads that we have. Now this one is obviously Phantom Freddy. He looks so good. The eyes light up. It's going to be amazing. It is going to scare the living crap out of people. So obviously he's giving these progress updates as he's completing them. Um, and it just looks terrific. We are so lucky we got the opportunity to work with him. He also has progress updates on Chica as well, and the puppet. The puppet is probably my favorite so far. It looks so good. It's just so, so professional. This is the kind of work that you expect for Five Nights at Freddy's fan stuff. Um, he also is posting all of these progress updates on his own TikTok. So if you like this type of content and want to see more progress updates, Go follow him, he deserves it. And he does so much more than just what he's already doing for us. He has an amazing Springtrap cosplay. He also has an amazing Ender cosplay. So if you like all of that type of stuff, be sure to go follow him, he's amazing. This is so exciting. Also, if we're doing more shout outs, go follow Jonathan. He is streaming every single week on the X stream channel. And speaking of X channels, the X green and X yellow channels are posting videos now. So if you like funny videos like this, who would ever do that, man? Oh! Hey Derek, can you come down here? I need to show you something. What could it possibly be this time, Justin? Hey, what's going on, X Blue Crew? Can a couple of old farts join in on your little lollipop party? Silly little Joe, that's no way to talk to this fine, quite frankly, fantastic X Blue Crew. So if that's something you're interested, be sure to go watch those videos on X Green and X Yellows coming out with a new video soon. But if you like more videos like this, 
please consider becoming a patron. It is very, very helpful for us. You guys get amazing benefits like this video, the one you're watching right now. Oh yeah, the patrons got to see it a whole day early. So if that's something that you would like and want to talk to more patrons and talk about the same thing, consider becoming a patron. You will not regret it. But thank you so much for watching and hasta la vista. Oh my goodness.